It's one of the world's most exclusive spa resorts, a sprawling 377-acre sanctuary filled with Japanese koi ponds, Zen sand gardens, and shaded bamboo forests. Hi, I'm Veronica Hill, and today we have a very special episode for you, a peek inside the luxurious Golden Door in Escondido. Cleverly tucked in the hills of San Diego's fabled Avocado Highway, the Golden Door is world-renowned for its seven-day health retreats that pamper the mind, body, and spirit. Since 1959, its intoxicating blend of Japanese hospitality and cutting-edge health programs have made it a favorite getaway for first ladies, royalty, and celebrities. I would say our guests come for many, many reasons. Oftentimes, yes, people think of weight loss, but that's not the primary reason in most cases. I think we see people going through transition, and we provide a program that is here for anyone and everyone. Only 40 guests take part in the Golden Doors world famous programs each week, allowing a personalized, one of a kind experience. Each guest gets their own fitness guide and tailor made workout regimen. The yoga program is especially popular, and the Golden Door offers more than seven types of yoga in their Adori gym. There are more than 20 miles of private trails at the Golden Door, including a shady bamboo forest that leads to a hidden prayer rock and quiet meditation area. While you're here, don't miss the resort's classical labyrinth, a 4,000-year-old practice of meditation and reflection. Oh, this is a very ancient tool for meditation. It is not a maze. You're walking uh, a flowing pathway that uh, will eventually bring you to the center of the labyrinth. The labyrinth was, again, a thought of Deborah Zakes, and that has been a very powerful source, again, of inspiration for our guests, using that walking meditation as a metaphor for life. One of the best parts of a vacation is the food, and the Golden Doors gourmet spa cuisine can't get any fresher or delicious. I'm meeting with executive chef Curtis Cook in their four-acre organic vegetable garden, where he's harvesting ingredients for today's lunch. The, the cuisine is, is basically based out of the garden. So anything that comes up, I come out here for my inspiration. I kind of do things in reverse. I don't look at the protein and then the vegetables, so I come out, and when these guys are ready, these are all our beets. So we have a white beet, a bull's blood beet, and then golden beets down there. And just come out and whoops, start picking our beets here. And then I will basically take this back as inspiration and create all of my dishes off of this. Our gardeners spend three to four months to get it to this point. Uh -huh. I can spend 30 seconds and destroy this. So I prefer to actually uh, stand out of the way, roast it properly with a little bit of thyme and garlic and have that be the highlight of the dish. To me, this is just absolutely cuisine at its best. Chef Curtis often offers cooking classes for Golden Door guests, and today he's whipping up a delicious seafood dish that's low in fat, but rich in flavor. Well, the cuisine is garden to table. So we take it from our garden and bring it right in, and again, that dictates everything that I'm gonna put on the plate. You source the right ingredients, the right proteins, you take out fat and sugar, and you've got a healthy meal. The Golden Door is a very special place, and it's easy to see why it's been a favored retreat for personal renewal for over 50 years. From its gracious staff to the beautifully landscaped grounds, the Golden Door is truly one of America's greatest spa retreats. Thanks for joining us at the Golden Door. I'll see you next time. <laughs>